Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name is Emily Hayden I am a professional athlete podcast host youtuber and I document my life online so check out some of my other content if you'd like to see more about what I'm about and feel free to subscribe if you want to stick around and be a part of the community in today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my veneer experience And I'm so excited to share this with you because one, everyone, my friends, family, all of you guys have been asking me to talk about it. And two, I just could not be more happy with my results. I am so happy. <laughs> it's been such a huge just transformation in my life. So I wanna share with you, start with why I decided to do it for myself and kind of my process and what led me to choose to do veneers. And then also just take you through the logistics of what that process actually looks like, how much it costs, and all the frequently asked questions that you guys have been asking me. since. I was little I can literally remember when I was like seven years old on the swim team and there was this family and there's this guy and girl they were brother and sister and they had beautiful big white teeth and I remember being seven years old and I was like man I wish I could have beautiful teeth like them I always had really really small teeth that I feel like never really fit me and so growing up into adulthood it's always been something that I wish that I could improve upon and I actually didn't know about veneers I'll talk about it later but I got gum contouring as well and I didn't know that that was an option I've always had a gummy smile so there's been multiple things about my smile from the small teeth to the gums that were covering my teeth to just not feeling as confident about my smile that I really wanted to change but as I really got into personal development I started to learn to love myself anyways and I really came to a place where I fully loved and accepted myself for exactly how I was and from that place I then learned about veneers and I was like well I love myself I know I'm a bad because of who I am inside but if I can improve upon this and feel even more confident on the outside then I I definitely want to do it. I'm a huge believer in doing what makes you happy and in doing things for yourself and not for the approval of other people. So I started researching veneers and when I started doing that I went on YouTube. I watched a lot of my veneer experience related videos and guys there are so many horror stories on YouTube and it kind of freaked me out but it led me down a path of just doing a lot a lot of research on a lot of different people. I went to a few different consults over the course of a few years and that's when I came across Dr. Connolly who I actually met in the gym where you have a lot of mutual friends and we met in the gym and he was like I see the smile that you are supposed to have <laughs> he's like I see the smile that goes with your face I absolutely can do it and from the get-go his wasn't so much about let's do a veneer procedure on you his was looking at my face looking at my attributes and saying how can we make you the best version of you and I thought that was really cool and really different so I went in had the initial consult and the initial consult he said I absolutely needed the gum contouring if you guys don't know with the gum contouring they just literally they go in they remove your gums and then they see what kind of tooth structure is underneath that I'll insert photos there might be a little bit of blood from just having it done so if, if that freaks you out then you know skip away but it's not much anyway so the first thing they did was they did the gum procedure and they took the gums away and you guys when they did that and I looked at myself in the mirror I almost cried in his chair but I was like hold it together you're fine <laughs> and so I like composed myself but I literally almost cried because I had full-size teeth all along they just never grew through the gums and for so long I was made fun of when I was a little kid and it was a lot of like personal development work I had to do on myself when I became an adult to learn to really love myself and embrace my gummy smile which I did and I fully you know came to terms with having that removed and understanding that I actually had beautiful teeth all along it made me, it made me want to cry because I was like this is amazing and they were there the whole time I probably could have stopped at that and just been so overjoyed and so happy with my results so if you guys are considering that at all or maybe you're considering veneers and you've never considered gum contouring I think that could be a really great first step that's why we did that we did that as a first step to see if I would be a good candidate for actual veneers and due to a lot of things that I had going on in my teeth I ended up being a really good candidate for veneers I had one tooth that was completely missing I had baby tooth that was still there I don't know why that was still there I just I had a lot of different issues I had previous dental work from another dentist 
dentist that did all sorts of like weird stuff to my teeth that just wasn't really right. So there's a lot of corrective things that we needed to do and also just to give myself the fullness of each tooth, we really needed veneers because previously when I was younger, I had braces and they like grinded my teeth down a lot after the braces. I remember them doing that and thinking like, this is really weird, they're making my teeth so thin. And so there was just a lot of aesthetic reasons but also just structurally reasons why we needed to go ahead and do the full set of veneers. So then we started the veneer process and there's multiple appointments that you have to go to. And I think the biggest thing, people always wanna know how long did it take, did it hurt, all of those things. And the biggest thing you need to know is that the veneer experience is a process over multiple appointments. It's a lot, it's a lot of work that you're doing to your mouth and to your teeth. So you just need to have the right mindset. I think if you have the right mindset to know like this is not a, you just go get veneers done and you're done, then you're gonna be okay. But if you go, you know, so you need to have that mindset of like, it's gonna be multiple appointments. We're gonna do different things at different appointments. Some appointments, you're gonna come out really numbed up and probably sore. But for me, none of the appointments included pain in the appointment itself. One thing that I realized about watching all the YouTube videos on veneers is that veneers turn out extremely different depending on the doctor that you go to. And now that I truthfully have had the best veneers, like actual best veneers as far as like the materials themselves, but also the doctor, I spot out bad veneers like this. It's so bad. I'm so thankful <laughs> that I had a good veneer doctor and experience because I found people online that are like, man, you should just love yourself for how you are. This is not worth it. It was a bad mistake. And when I watched that, it, would, it kind of freaked me out, you know, and, and here I am on the other side of it. Like that was the best decision that I could have ever made for myself. And I'm so glad that I did it because uh, truthfully, like I feel like the best version of myself. I don't feel like I have a random set of teeth or I have these materials in my mouth. I don't feel like I have this big brick thing that I have to get used to. It literally feels like me. Even my, the teeth themselves feel like my teeth. So I'll go more into that later as far as picking a good dentist and noticing the difference between what a good veneer and a bad veneer looks like. But for me, I knew that it was gonna be a process. So every time that I went into an appointment, I went in there knowing this is probably gonna be long, it's probably gonna be lots of numbing, and I may or may not have pain after. So the first contouring experience that I had, the gum contouring, that procedure itself was really short, really fast. I was in and out. They numbed me really quickly. They did the procedure. And I'll say for me, it's just so scary being in the dentist chair. I'm someone I've never liked it. It freaks me out. But here's the thing. I'm really, really strong mentally. So even if I'm like mentally, this is so scary. I tell myself, you trust him. He does this every day. It's okay. It's fine. And he's like working on my mouth and internally. I'm kind of freaking out. But if you just like talk to yourself and tell yourself the right things, it's okay. He did not hurt me. I was in no pain. He did a phenomenal job. The results were amazing. You know, so it's just, it is a scary process as far as like what they're doing to your teeth when they're doing those things, but it's not a painful process and he made it really enjoyable, him and his entire team there. So after the gum contouring, my gums were really sore for I think like the next day or so, maybe a little bit longer. There's a little bit of recovery with it. I was honestly fine within a few days for sure. And then when it came down to the actual veneers, I was so mentally prepared for a really long, really unenjoyable appointment because everything that I had read and researched said that it was long and enjoyable and your mouth is open forever. So I just knew, I knew that going into that, that this is gonna suck and it's okay because I'm gonna be beautiful afterwards. I'm gonna have great teeth. So I went into that appointment. It was long. It, it just wasn't as bad as I thought. And I, I'm like, why? I don't know. I guess because my expectations were that it was so terrible that I was like, this really is not that big of a deal. And anytime that I'd be like, oh, this is annoying or it's taking so long, I would tell myself, but you're gonna look perfect after this. <laughs> and then like, literally I'm like, oh yeah, it's fine. Continue. So for me, no pain. The appointment was really long to get the temporaries, but it was fine. They put the temporaries in. Here they are. I just got them today. They look so good. <laughs> On, like there's just like a little bit of pain. It's like not bad though, especially considering I have just beautiful full smile now. Ah, this is so cool to see. I thought I'd be freaked out looking at myself thinking, oh, it's pretty, but it's not me, but I'm not freaked out at all. Like, I think it looks so good. This is day one of having my temporary veneers in and I think they look really nice. I'm kind of deciding if I want to go a little bit bigger. Almost feel like they look a little too natural. Like maybe they need to be a little bit bigger, just to be a little bit more of a like bang type of smile. And with the temporaries, that was the most annoying part of the whole process because you have temporary veneers in, and when they do that, you can't use them like regular teeth, so you have to eat soft food. So I had to kind of like change the foods that I was eating. And for that, again, I knew that it was gonna be annoying. I knew that I'd have to eat soft foods. 
oats, peanut butter, and honey. This is so delicious and comforting. So nice, good fats and carbs here. Okay, so my next meal is going to be a protein shake, uh, Formula One chocolate protein. This chocolate tastes absolutely amazing. It is all natural, sweetened with stevia, and it's really fast digesting, so it is perfect for a pre-workout or a post-workout meal. So I'm just mixing it with some cold water. Brought my shaker cup with cold water, and then I have a banana in there. So got my protein in, got some carbs in. I will be nice and fueled. How good is this? I'll be nice and fueled for my gym session and it is temporary veneer friendly. A little update for you guys, I have officially had the temporary veneers for a week and two days and what I've experienced so far is imagine that you have like a toothache except it's like your whole mouth. <laughs> So often, most days, I've felt like that toothache and I've had to take Tylenol. So I've kind of been taking Tylenol every single day just to deal with it because when I have that toothache and it's like kind of throbbing, just really uncomfortable, it's hard to work. But honestly, it's not terrible. And every single time that I'm in pain or I feel it or it's like annoying or it's like bothersome, I'm just like, but look at that perfect smile though. So really the pain is worth it to be honest. But I am trying to navigate what are the best foods, what make me feel good. And I will say that eating all canned things definitely has higher sodium. So if you go from your regular diet to all of a sudden having canned soups and canned vegetables, you probably will retain a little bit of water, feel a little puffy just from all the sodium. But for today, I've decided that I want to meal prep three different recipes. I'm gonna make a beef and sweet potato casserole type of thing. I'm going to make chicken soup of some sort. And then I'm also Gonna make egg white bites. These are all things that I will be able to eat because as long as I make it mushy enough or like soup, then it's pretty easy to eat. I didn't just like drag my feet being negative every day because here's the other thing, you're getting a beautiful smile. The results <laughs> are worth it. So you just have to keep telling yourself anytime that you're like, oh, I'm annoyed because of my temporary veneers. Number one, you were blessed and you were very privileged to be able to have veneers. Just kind of reality check yourself. I feel like if you're going through this veneer experience and you're dragging your feet and you're upset and negative about it, you need to track yourself because there's so many other problems in this world. So for me again, like of course the temporary phase was, it wasn't fun. It wasn't like, yeah, I love eating soft food and I love, you know, the annoyance of having this in there and at a certain point, like it's been in there for a really long amount of time and you're just ready to rip them off. Don't, don't have a negative mindset going through that because you're just very blessed. So I would say yes, like it's, you're going to have to eat soft food for a while. I had mine in for a total of, I think six weeks. And here's the thing with my doctor and the way that they do things, they have somebody literally go in and hand create every single little tooth. And I'll give you guys more of a close up view later, but my teeth are not just white blocks that they cut out. There's character in each and every tooth intended to make it look like the most natural version of what my teeth would look like. With that, there's a lot of customization that goes into that. And so obviously it just takes a little longer. Putting in the actual veneers after the temporary phase, again, it was a long appointment, but at that appointment, you're like, when I walk out of here, there's no recovery time. Like I'm fine by tomorrow by the time that I'm fully, you know, not numb anymore. And you have that smile that you have waited your entire life for, like this. So it truthfully is just so worth it. So I went through that appointment, no pain whatsoever. It was very long. And then afterwards saw my smile and I was all numbed up, but it was just, it was amazing. And then getting used to my teeth actually took a, while, a little while because I wasn't used to the bite just yet. So when I was eating, I just had to get used to the bite. Guys, the day is finally here. I am about to go get my permanent veneers on right now. Just parked. I am so excited. I cannot contain myself. So the temporaries have done me well, but I am so ready to say goodbye to them. And to be totally honest, these were not as bad as what everybody on YouTube made them seem like. I don't know if he just did a really good job or what, but like these were not that bad. They were painful the first few weeks, but then after that it was really easy and they honestly didn't really limit me much. So I'm so excited. This is going to be great. So here is the before with the very old temporary veneers. You can tell they're like yellow on the bottom. That's cute, right? I'll be very numb, so maybe I'll do that after tomorrow, but I'll show you anyways. All right, say goodbye to the permanents. I mean, temporary. <laughs> goodbye, temporaries. Well, hello, Dr. Connelly. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good, how are you? Are you excited for today? I'm so excited. <laughs> are you laughing at me because I'm talking to you like this? <laughs> Temperates held up well. They held up so well. Honestly, I did not really feel limited these last few weeks. I just ate what I wanted. There's one that's a little loose, but no, they honestly were fine. Hello, I look like a really hills housewife because I can't move my upper lip to try to drink some water.
my god, I look like a, a joker. <laughs> so, I'm driving home and I am incredibly numb, so I thought I really hope I'd try to talk to you guys. But the process went great, everything went great, he was very happy, and I can't wait to show you guys the after results. But for now, I'm just gonna enjoy my ride home and a smile for you guys. Ready? One, two, three, cheese! And we'll compare that smile with my best smile. I have an itch on my nose, and I can't itch my nose because I can't feel myself itching it. Now as far as how it changes how you are throughout your normal life, I have noticed no difference. Someone was like, just so you know, you're not gonna be able to, you know, eat apples or anything hard or this or that. And like, I've not changed the way that I eat at all. Of course, during the temporary phase, you have to because those can technically come out, even though I, I never felt like mine were gonna come out. When you have the permanence, when you have your full set of veneers and they're like, you're good to go, as long as you have good quality veneers and you're being, you know, careful and like, I'm not gonna go eat a jawbreaker, you know what I mean? So as long as you're just doing Doing that and eating uh, like taking care of your teeth like you already should be even if my teeth were real I'm not gonna you know go do things that are damaging to teeth so as long as you're being smart about it you're totally fine it's not gonna change the way that you eat and for me I'm, I'm telling you guys when I look back at old photos of me I've had the veneers now it's middle of May almost June and I got the final ones I think in February I believe it was so I've had them for quite a few months now this is just fully me and who I am here's the coolest part I've always felt like this since since I was younger, like when I would smile and when I would show up in rooms and I would feel confident and I learned to love myself fully, I felt like this. I just, I didn't really look like this. And so when I got these veneers and he was able to do this for me and provide such incredible results, I now feel like the outside of what I've always felt like matches my inside. And it's so beautiful because I really do show up in such a more confident way. I, I just, I show up as more fully myself. I'm not showing up as someone else. I'm not showing up as a different, you know, version, I feel like I'm showing up as the best version of myself. Truthfully, it was just the absolute best experience. I could not recommend it more, like 10 out of 10. My doctor truthfully is the best in the country. He's one of like four that is considered experts in the field of what he does. So I just, I highly recommend it. And I will say that even if you don't go with my doctor, you need to be so careful. And you, this is not one of those things that you can like get the generic brand for and be okay. This is your face. This is literally what everybody looks like. It's your mouth. It is like a very serious procedure. So do not just let anyone do it. Do not just let any random dentist do it. A lot of people walk around with like blocks of white in their in their mouth and it just, it doesn't look very good. And you guys, every single person I come across is like, wow, yours are different. And I'm like, yeah, I know they are. They're like the best ones that you can get <laughs> because they make it look like the best version of you, not just some white, super, super white block, you know? So I just, I really recommend that you guys do your research. You look at their results and you really look for the people that create customized appearances for each client. You don't want every single client and person walking out of there looking the same. People should have different teeth because we have different structure, we have different just age, we have different everything. So yeah, I just, I'm overjoyed. I could not be more happy. I recommend it a million percent. If you are considering it, I recommend it with a good doctor. That'll be the little stipulation that I say. It has to be with a very good doctor that produces very good results. And do not just book a doctor based off of Instagram. There was actually a doctor in Italy that stole my photos, watermarked my photos with their logo and, you know, talked about veneer procedures and people were commenting saying, oh, I'm going to contact you for work based off of my photos. And I've never been to Italy. I would love to go to Italy, but you know what I mean? So just be really, really careful that your research isn't photos because those can be stolen. They can be photoshopped. You really need to go in and create personal relationships with the doctors that you're considering having. And I really recommend going to multiple different, like go to at least like four different veneer consults and really get a feel for how they are and what they recommend to you. I went to a few and I felt like I was at like a car dealership and they didn't really even like, they didn't even really like talk to me or like customize like what it would be. They were just like, yeah, this is veneers. This is what we do. And that's how much it is. You know, whereas like Dr. Connolly was very much so like, we need to look at the structure of your teeth. We need to first do the gum removal and see if you even need veneers. He's like, you may just need the, the gum removal and then whitening on top of that and you may be fine. And I thought that was really cool. So he really, really looks at like 
what does the individual need, not just let's throw a bunch of veneers in there. Now, as far as all of the practical things and logistics, I did get full set of veneers on top and on bottom. They are porcelain veneers. They are customized. They're a very specific material. He actually, I think, blended different materials for mine, which gives it the look that it has. And I'll do some close-up shots in a minute so you guys can see. But the bottom of the teeth have a little bit of translucency in them, just like real normal teeth would to kind of match how real normal teeth would have that from the wear and tear kind of thing. But if you guys see, it's like every single tooth is literally like perfect and shaped differently based on where it's at too. And that's another thing. I don't see a lot of other veneer people doing that. So I think that's really important. Oh my gosh. That's the like, huh? Can you see the pink porcelain there? Mm-hmm. So it's just not like a big white blob. Mm-hmm. What color are those? Or like, what are the specs, you know? The BO one. The BO? So like the lightest color they have, mm -hmm. porcelain is BO one. But really what we're, the, the difference is the saturation. Mm -hmm. How saturated is it? So this is 100% saturated yeah. wall. Yeah. Like stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Like a block. This is called the HT, so it's called a high translucent, so it looks very real. Yeah, okay. Rather than being solid. The so color is one thing, but then the value is the other way, which is a measurement of saturation. Do you follow me? No. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Nope. Can you so explain this is, it? This is white pink. Okay. This right here? Yeah. It's hundred percent white. It's a block out, right? Right. So it's hundred percent whereas like that frosted glass window. Yeah. It's fifty percent. Okay. Pink. Okay. That so makes that, sense. So this saturated. is how many percent? This is like maybe seventy five percent saturated. Okay. Whereas hundred percent would look fake. Yeah, yeah, like Purple. super fake. So as far as the cost of the procedure, you can expect veneers, good veneers to cost anywhere from like fifteen hundred to twenty four hundred per tooth. And not everybody needs a full set of veneers. Some people only need the top row. Some people only need a few teeth here and there. So it just depends what your current structure is, what your current needs are, and the ultimate, the result, the look that you desire to go for. For myself, being on camera 24 seven, you know, being on stage, I'm in the public eye all the time doing meet and greets, and I am always on camera, always doing photo shoots. It's important for me to have that like overall beautiful smile. And it's something that helps me show up better for myself, for my profession, for everything that I do. So I wanted that result of that ultimate Hollywood glamour smile. And I'm so happy that that's exactly what I got. So I hope that this gave you guys a little more insight into my veneer experience. Hopefully that answered your questions. I will put Dr. Connolly's information down below, but I 10 out of 10 recommend him. Again, I went to multiple different consults and there were other people like in the same area that he's in too. And they just produced very different results. And they also were just very different in their handlings and dealings with me. So I truthfully found somebody that is amazing and it's not just me that says that. You guys can look at my friends like Michael Hearn and a bunch of other people that also had work done by him. And there's a reason why, you know, the best in the industry are going to this person. And it's because he truthfully is incredible at what he does. He's also an awesome person. My dentist, by the way, is a bodybuilder and he is like amazing at what he does. He did a huge comeback after like, I don't even know how many years, probably like 20 years away from the stage. Did a comeback, got first place in his class, like total badass human, has a wife, a daughter, just such a really really nice human and such a nice family and they're genuine good people and you guys know me I love supporting genuine good people which is why I wanted to share my experience and then also just refer you guys to him I know for a fact that you will get incredible results you will be so well taken care of and you will not be taken advantage of which is something that I think you all just have to be careful about when you are looking to do this procedure because it is one of those things that you know you're very blessed if you're able to even consider doing this and there are people that will take advantage of that so just be really careful with that but that's it I hope that that helps you guys uh, I again I just I'm so happy I have this thing in my room it says always wear a smile and I got that as a gift last year and then this year I got my veneers and I was like what what a great metaphor I had that in my room and now I have a smile that I always want to wear like it is always in fashion to have a big beautiful smile on and I feel like because I'm happier and because I'm more confident I find myself wanting to smile at other people and like spread that happiness because they have no idea that I got veneers a lot of people have no idea that I got veneers if they meet me now but for me I'm like if I have these beautiful teeth and I am going to spread happiness and joy and cheer everywhere I go like confetti that is my goal 
unless I'm in the gym working really hard and I'm like really struggling, I might look angry. But other than that is my goal to spread happiness and cheer. <laughs> that, I guess that's it. That's, I don't know where that came from. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Give it a thumbs up. If it was, comment down below. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I'd be happy to answer and I will see you guys in the next video. So check it out because this is not my regular content. I just wanted to share this with you. All right, love you and see you in the next one.